All right, this is Mr. Thornton here for Delta Math Signs of Trig Functions tutorial. This is the second of four. And we can remember from the last video, all students take calculus. We've got the unit circle right here, which would be drawn here. You've got the four quadrants, all meaning all the signs are positive, all the trig functions are positive. Students, meaning the S, just sign is positive in this quadrant. In the third quadrant, take, just tan is positive. In the fourth quadrant, C, cos, just calculus is or cosine is positive, sorry. Here we're looking for sine of theta is greater than zero. So what greater means is sine is gonna be positive. And then cosine theta is greater than zero. So cosine is gonna be positive. So in which quadrant are both sine and cosine positive? We take a quick look here. It looks like just in quadrant one. So, both are positive and angle theta lies in quadrant one. And that's all it is.